took me almost dying to stop and go, hey, this isn't worth it. Being big is not worth dying. You're taking drugs. You're trying to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. That's bigorexia. I'm not a morning person. I'm dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. How you been, man? Everything good? Yeah, buddy. Get the f over to 2020. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we made it out. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a tough one, right? Definitely a privilege to be on here, you know. So I've always wanted to sit down and have one with you. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. Once we get all this uh, craziness, once we can be around each other. <laughs> this, this is it. <laughs> so I wanted to get, I wanted to get uh, how you got your start in the fitness and why you chose men's physique and sort of like how you got into the bodybuilding in the first place. Um, you know, uh, I got into just lifting weights and training in general when I was incarcerated. Um, I was, uh, a senior in college and uh, my last year I got arrested for um, you know for uh, doing doing drugs cocaine to be specific and uh, my first that was my first conviction man and I got four to eight year sentence so yeah I went from <laughs> a senior in college to straight doing hard time <laughs> so you know with, I had nothing but time on my head and that's where like fitness came about that's where it all started right there Wow, that's 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 amazing. I, I had no idea about that. Yeah, a lot of people did it. I I, I let it be known like, you know, after the Olympia and stuff, but uh, with the COVID, yeah, this this year was kind of you know it was kind of hectic. Everybody, so much was going on and stuff. So uh, it, it kind of like got in the way of me getting everything out there as Mr. Olympia, you know, getting the message, even giving my testimony of how I you know went through my troubles and stuff. So I've definitely been you know currently picking it up and getting it out there more and more. So it was a good time. So, so how many years have you served? So 2000 and I actually got out early on an early release is my first because it was my first time. So it was a program. So I got out in three years instead of four. But like granted, like I said, I went from, you know, college to student to doing, you know, state prison time. Um, in those three years, that's when I started training. You know, it, it started as like a survival thing, you know, every day. It started at, actually it started as something really just like, yeah, past time. <laughs> I was little, man. I was skinny. People think I was big my whole life, but I was I was 145 pounds when I graduated high school. <laughs> this height still. <laughs> so when I went in, when I went inside and I was incarcerated in prison, uh, I was about maybe 165 pounds, bro. <laughs> so you know, going in there, you, you know, you, you outside, you take movies and stuff like, oh, I got to get some muscle on me. <laughs> I just started lifting weights, you know, just like that. <laughs> what a perfect time, you know? And uh, every day, I just, every day just got, you know, I just, it, it, it gave me strength. It gave me hope, you know, especially in that atmosphere, you know, where hope is small, bro. Like, it's it's non-existent in there, you know? It's, you know, inside prison, it's, it's rehabilitation, but it, it's all about how you apply yourself, you know, just like out here and stuff. So, I knew in there that one day I would get out, so I was coming back better than ever, you know. <laughs> and you yeah. served in? Uh, did you serve in Pennsylvania State? Where did you serve your time? In Pennsylvania. Yeah. So how was the? A lot of people working out there. Was it? Was it? Was it common to work out over there? Oh yeah, you definitely get motivation to work out too. That's where it all starts, <laughs> you know. You're going. I mean, you're going out there no matter what the weather is too. <laughs> Yeah, there's even exercises that you got to complete, or if not, there's a puddle underneath you that you're going to fall in. <laughs> we call it the yard out workout, the pull-ups, push-ups, and dips. So, like, that's huge. That's, I still do those. Uh, it's like a, a staple every day. And what, were you, what about eating? Like, what, what was you eating over there as far as, like, <laughs> like it, couldn't be, it couldn't be good. Yo, it, yo it's, it's so crazy because the parallel, like, how parallel, I guess, the, the lifestyle there was to how, like, was bodybuilding. It's kind of like you get used to certain things you can eat. So the discipline, I guess, in a sense, is where I picked up 
you know, inside because I was, you know, I, I couldn't order McDonald's, get, go grab McDonald's and stuff. You know, I'm eating whatever the hell is down in the chow hall or whatever we can make on the block with the guys with uh, soups and <laughs> bags of chips and <laughs> oodles of noodles, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you, know, you know, it's so funny. I used to get these universal packs, these protein packs that used to come. They were universal powder <laughs> protein packs. I had no idea what I was doing with them, but, you know, just trying to get big and get extra meals in and stuff. Commissary? You got a commissary going? Yeah, yeah got commissary, yeah. So you were, oh, you're actually taking protein. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's expensive, though, but big ups to my support system, man. Same guys I'm with right now, you know, with the Yams movement and my family and stuff, man. Like, that's that was huge right there. That, that helped me a lot getting through. So you went in, you were 165, and you got out, you were what? <sighs> Probably then still only like 195, 190, you know, but because I'm hard, it was hard to gain weight still, especially, especially knowing what I know now and being inside because you're just eating anything, bro. Like the quality, you're getting carbs like crazy, sugary. <laughs> you know, your meal in the morning would be cereal, toast, uh, 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 <laughs> a cake. <laughs> you see what I just said? Sugar, carbs all the way across the board. So, you know, you, you, you still, like I said, I, that was when I, uh, I got into it all, though, training, and still didn't know anything about, like, the nutrition part. I'm just winging it. Like I said, I just was doing it every day, making the days go faster. Mm -hmm. So when you got out, what happened next? What, what, how did, what, did you, what did you do next after? So I got out, and, uh, you know, there was, I was still limited on what I could do because, you know, I was still in a halfway house, and so I was uh, – just had little windows on, you know, being able to get reintroduced into society. You know, so I had to like, I had about four hours a day that I would get to either go job search, which I was supposed to do, but I was actually going to the gym too. <laughs> so I would go look for some jobs, but before I go back in, I'm like, man, I like, you know, I like, I still like lifting weights. And it's one thing I kept in my head. I just never stopped. So you know, I, I kept lifting like that. And, um, you know, as I got through the system of the halfway house and everything, I just I still lifted weights. I never stopped going to the gym. And uh, you like, it. You like the feeling of going, you being in the gym. You actually like the, that experience. Yeah, I actually like, you know, I actually liked it because every you know, every day it just became a part of my lifestyle. I just didn't even know it, that it was a bodybuilding world lifestyle also. <laughs> so um, one day I'm in L.A. Fitness, you know, just hit me uh preacher curls and a guy comes over to me and he's like yo dude do you do you compete i'm thinking like compete i'm like i'm thinking like power like powerlifting or something he's like bodybuilding i'm like hell no i'm like all well, this dude, dude's in the underwear and stuff <laughs> this was before i did any i had any knowledge on men's physique so you know i'm thinking like what like arnold schwarzenegger and ronnie coleman and those dudes i'm like I, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm still only about 190. I know I'm still, you know, you look at yourself and you still don't think you're big enough. And I'm like, I know I'm not going to look good upstate on stage doing that stuff. Uh, but no, right away he knew, like, you know, I was like, no, hell no. And he was like, no, men's physique. There's this new division, men's physique, you should try to get into. And this was 2000 and this was, this was, this was years after, you know, a few years after my incarceration, about 2014. You know, like I so from 2011, so I got in course with 2008, 2011, and I still, you know, trained, so still lifted weights, but still nothing like the bodybuilding world. Just going to the gym, you know, eating chicken wings. That's my protein and stuff. <laughs> protein shakes and stuff. But uh, 2014, let's fast forward a little bit. That's when, you know, I met the guy at the gym, and we talked about, you know, he asked me about competing and an immense physique, and I'm like, I, I, you know, this was, man, I wasn't even big on social media or anything yet. I wasn't, uh, this was all new to me. And uh, I get on there and I'm looking at these dudes. I'm like, okay, this is way, way better than, than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shorts. The board shorts. I'm like, word, word. <laughs> so the board shorts, that got me right there. I'm like, all right, I can see myself doing this, you know. Uh, big ups like you know, I was watching like dudes like Tory Woodward, uh, Johnny Sebastian, all those guys before us. Um, man, even like Sadiq and Jeremy and all those guys. So you know, be they was doing it before us. 
So I instantly got on there and I checked them out. I'm like, all right, I, 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 can, I can do this. I can try this. <laughs> so I hired a coach, a local coach, and I did my show. That was July when I had the conversation. I did my show in October and I did my first show then. And we won overall in Pennsylvania. It was a Pennsylvania. First, first one. Yeah, it was a small one, though. It was a small one. It was, yeah, it, it still, it was a, it was only about like, <laughs> maybe like five of us or something like that. So it wasn't a big show at all. Um, but still, I, I, you know, I had my coach and even the feedback there, you know, still like, yo, keep going with it. I, I did another show. I did my second show. I decided to do it two days or three days before it like happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's just how new this world was to me, you know. <laughs> so this coach taught you how to like do the prep, how to like yeah. cut water and all that stuff, right? Like he yeah. took you through the process. So the second show was pretty soon after, and I'm like, yeah, let me should do the show. Like you know, I'm still in shape. We did that, and I did. I won a class, but didn't win overall. So that's when I like I really got uh the guy and then the guy and I didn't deserve it. The guy looked good, and that's when I was like, okay, it was way different from my first show. In my second show, so nice, and you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an athlete by you know just by nature. Younger, I played at all the sports growing up, so I it got me hooked. That one right there, I'm like, damn, I didn't win, <laughs> but I'm like, yo, these dudes look good. Like, yo, that, I, that's when I was like, okay, there's a lot of work to be done, and you know, like they say, your first time you step on stage, I, it's like you know if it's for you right away, and it, it, I knew it was right away. So, how did you feel about preparing for the competition, being competitive, hitting the poses, and all that? Like, did you enjoy that? It was it was it was it was weird. <laughs> it was weird, man. Like, like it's just it's a whole. It was a whole different world, you know. So, um, not necessarily discipline on the eating, um, but just you know the, the the posing, obviously the training. That was the that got me hooked though because you know you're you're watching yourself, you seeing the, the process, your body change. Now I'm like that really got me hooked in the entire process. Because I was just used to, like I said, just lifting weights, just getting it in. And the genetics carried me and stuff, but not really knowing what I was doing until I got into the bodybuilding stuff. So, 